I'd like to talk about the concept of inertia and how it's similar to, but also very different from the concept of weight. In a nutshell, inertia is the resistance an object has to being moved or accelerated. This train right there, we would all agree, has a lot of inertia because if I go stand on the tracks right there and try to push that train, even if there was no friction in the wheels or the bearings or with the ground, that train would be really hard to get moving. I would have to exert a lot of force to move that train even just a little bit. So we say that that train has inertia and it comes from the fact that that train is made of atoms that have mass and the more mass something has that comes from its atoms, then the more inertia it has, which means the more resistance you feel when you try to get it to move. Well, you might say, well, wait a minute. I know that it has inertia, but it also has a lot of weight. The only reason it's hard to move the train is because it has a lot of weight. Well, actually, the concept of weight is totally different than inertia. If I take this train and bring it into space, deep space, it will still have inertia. It will be hard to move, but it will have no weight at all because weight only happens when you put a massive object inside a gravitational field. This is an actual picture of the space shuttle in orbit around the planet. It is said to have no weight or it is in a weightless environment, but we know that there's a lot of mass inside of that space shuttle. If I float up to this thing, to the nose in my spacesuit, and I turn my rocket thrusters on or I just try to use my arms and push it, we can all imagine that it would take a lot of effort to get that massive ship moving. The inertia is what you feel when you try to push on something and it's resisting your motion. It has nothing to do with how much it weighs because weight is only something that happens when you take mass and put it in a gravitational field. Now, technically, there is a gravitational field on the Earth right below this thing, but the shuttle is in orbit, which means it's in constant free fall. So this is Newton's second law of motion. It says the force required to accelerate an object is equal to the mass of the object times how fast you want it to accelerate. Think of it this way, if I want to accelerate two different objects at one meter per second squared, and one of them has a very low mass and the other one has a really, really big mass, then because they're equal over here, if I'm trying to get a very massive object to accelerate, I need to give a very, very large force to make that happen. And if I have less mass, I need less force. That's because the more mass you have, the more inertia you have to get moving. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.